What's up, you all? Today, we're talking about how to stream your Quest 2 wirelessly to either Twitch, YouTube, Facebook Gaming, etc. Uh, this is just going to be a simple, updated version of this, and this is going to be all wirelessly the fastest way possible. And the reason why, because we utilize this to stream on YouTube exclusively. So if you like content like this, we're going to have plenty of these types of tips. So ensure that you subscribe, all the stuff in the description box below. So let's get into the first situation. When you want to stream your Quest 2 wirelessly, you have to have something to cast upon. Now, it can't be your phone. So it has to be an eligible PC. When you're just casting your Quest 2 to a PC, then that's completely fine. You don't really need a high-end PC. But in this nature, to entail a Twitch, YouTube, Facebook stream, you're going to need a PC that's at least qualified within Twitch's requirements. So just check out Twitch's requirements and see um, what is really qualified for that essential to be able to stream in general. If either you're streaming like your console or you're streaming another PC, whatever it is, you just need something to ensure that your PC can and stream on Twitch and uh, YouTube, Facebook. So another reason why, and then let me just help you out to clarify this. Also with a Quest 2, when you're doing a wireless stream, it means that you're not necessarily doing PC VR streaming. So if you're doing PC VR, you'll need even a next level, even just a, tw a, a PC that streams uh, for Twitch and YouTube and more, you're still gonna need something higher when it comes down to PC VR. PC VR is like the echelon of a PC of what you need. And then a mid tier is gonna be like a Twitch min minimum requirement. And then it is just a PC if you're just casting and not really showing it um, externally via stream or encoding your stream. So now that all that is clarified, that's a lot to understand. So please uh, clarify and ask questions in the comment section below. So after that, you have your PC, you know, you need to create your channel, whatever you want. If you're going to do a multi-stream or a restream, um, just know where you're going to stream, get your stream key, get all that. Usually it's going to take like a 24 hour period. So ensure you're doing that first. That's always the first thing you need to do. Decide where and do it and just take action because it's never going to be perfect. You learn every day as we stream, as I stream and create content, we're learning every day so ensure that you're creating that and do that fast um i have my notes right here so we're gonna look over everything after that, after you create everything, you need to ensure that you're going to be doing step number one. Now, on your Quest 2, you would put on your headset. You want to do one thing and one thing only for sure to that PC wirelessly. Oculus Casting is available for the Quest 2. What you'll do is you put on your headset, and you want to share from your headset first before you share to an initial PC. So always put on your headset first. Put a piece of tape on there so that when you take off your headset, it doesn't really go to sleep or just change it in your settings to where it takes a lot, a lot longer to, to go to sleep. So in your headset, have what you're going to have set up and what you want to stream and then just have your, just have it on standby all the time and then hit cast. So you want to hit share and then you'll have a casting. It'll give you a great easy menu, very easy, very simplified layout. It, just put cast, then you put cast and then you'll set up your PC wirelessly. Now you need to be on these same networks. So we're going to talk about the networks in a little bit, but ensure that you are in the same network and ensure that your PC is hardwired, which we will go over that also. So ensure you, you're still watching this whole video. So after that, then you'll go on your PC, you go to oculus.com slash casting, but you always want to do it through your headset first, and then you want to uh, pair up to your PC, and then you want to go through the casting and the web format, because if you do it the opposite way, it doesn't read it. It never does. Trust me, we do this multiple times. Just always do it through your headset cast first, then you did it to your PC on the browser. After that, it'll then intertwine and, and link, and now you got one set up already. Now, I recommend two monitors for this, as if you're streaming, you should always have more than one monitor, so uh, with the two monitors, um, one is essentially going to be for the casting and one is going to be for your streaming software. So on the first one, you're already done. One monitor and one PC is already set up along with your Quest 2 headset being directed wirelessly via casting. And that's going to be completely. So me, for an example, I play Resident Evil 4. So Resident Evil 4 goes onto that casting and boom, that's just it right there. Resident Evil is fully now on my monitor, on my PC. Everything's wireless, ready to go. Any movement or structure I'm making, it is being shown there casting. That is kind of like your capture card, etc. with the casting version, wireless though next on your other one you need to now have a you need to have your um uh, your, your your streaming software. So now with your streaming software, you need to have. I'm gonna go with Streamlabs OBS. It's a lot easier and user friendly. OBS is if you already known a lot of technical terms from streaming, then you can use OBS. If you already understand and familiar, or if you already use OBS right now, and good for you. Kudos. So with Streamlabs, you're gonna have to do one thing, one thing only. You're gonna add either a display or a game capture. Either one works. They just work differently depending on how your setup is working. So add a display. It's real easy. You'll find the Quest 2.exe. It's very very easy, and you just add it. It'll be like a Windows. It'll have different names for different people, but just either way, it's a .exe. You add that, it goes right into um, it goes right into the streaming software now, and boom! Now you have your casting, and now you have your Quest 2 is now essentially on Streamlabs OBS. I'm using that for the example. Now after Streamlabs OBS, this is where right here is where it gets a little bit more difficult. So. 
as you're doing these captures now you need to have all your scenes make sure you're setting up your scenes have a starting soon screen have all of that now if you don't know any basic stuff just like what i said comment and i can help you out with all of that but these are usually people that are already kind of familiar with this if you're not then it's easy just all you got to do is just add scenes there's tons of free scenes in Streamlabs, and there's tons of free uh, donations everything is literally pre-laid out for you and you can set it up really really fast but like what i said if y'all need anything else i will break down more in depth y'all need to help um, after that, you're going to go ahead and then when your display, now your display is on both monitors, one's on your streaming software, and now your actually Oculus casting is on another one. Next, what you're going to have to do is your setup layout. Now, it's really weird when you start casting. So when you start casting, you always want to enable your microphone, your in-house microphone, so that you can talk directly through your quest. And then also, it gives you a widescreen format or it gives you the crop section. So depending on what you choose, that's going to be up to you. When I use the crop section, it's just more safe and it looks clarity and I'm able to put pictures and stuff on the side so that my stream layout looks really cool. So I have a, a picture, of, I have a video of me uh with the actual my vr headset on and then i have my actual crop screen and then i have like a picture of what game i'm playing or you can just have it completely widescreen and you can just have a webcam format or no webcam format and you can just show your full on gameplay that is up to you like what i said all of that is wirelessly right now next after your setup after you clear that up uh, some tips i do want to really really go and uh, and really really touch base on and uh one is going to be your internet of course make sure your pc is hardwired now you're doing a wireless through your quest but make sure your pc is hardwired so it could at least run the streaming software the right way you don't want everything throwing wi-fi going around Next, I would I would really recommend getting a five gigahertz Wi-Fi because this helps you out and it speeds up the whole process on everything, so you don't really get much latency. Next, uh, lighting just have some ring lights. What I have right now are basic ring lights because with your guarding and with VR, they can't just be in the pitch dark or you can't be with a little fluorescent light. So you're gonna need something that's kind of bright and respectable so your audience sees you, but it's not too bright to where it's like overshadowing the game. And then you also want to ensure that your guardian can read it clearly. With the new space sense, it's very sensitive now. Things and objects that are around you it's going to let you know like what's around you so just try to do all that and work around its kings but definitely have some form of lighting i'd recommend just a basic ring light on like amazon or something that helps you out with showing your distinguishing yourself from the audience given like how your movements are it just looks hilarious like i'd really recommend that um next um, next what i'll have to say oh have fun i have it right here it says have fun just have a lot of fun man like this is very easy it's a wireless component and to set it up is very fun but what i set up in my setup i have a dual pc i have one that encodes my stream and one that's actually my gaming pc so i usually cast to my gaming pc and then my streaming pc is to my other monitor but if you just have one that's completely fine just need to cast and then use everything on at least one or two monitors depending on how your setup is but i would recommend just as long as you're casting and your pc is hardwired and you have at least one monitor you're good to go with this setup um also uh what the heck is this you can't read so with quest 2 since quest 2 a quest 2 wireless stream is not technically a pc vr stream this is not a pc vr guys this is not streaming on steam or anything this is just through oculus which is really cool that you don't need any wires for any of this so when you're doing this um you can't really there's no feature where you can read chat directly with your quest 2 yet only pc vr which means you would have to have a, another uh, another exclusivity of a setup in order to do that but you can't read chat directly so with a quest 2 setup you basically would have to have like text-to-speech or something like that and you basically would have to put on maybe some airpods or maybe another uh, another headphone a light or headphone and you can be able to do that um so yeah you would have to do that it's very easy you can just watch your own stream on your phone or do something through your phone where it can help you out and hear that speech but just set up something so you can hear it if not that you could just manually look up and kind of try to peek through the light and try to see your chat all the time depending on how much people you have coming in and out and then also a webcam if you we if you want a, a webcam i'd recommend it because it looks funny and it looks hilarious when you're in vr i love doing it through my webcam it's funny but if you don't recommend that there's avatars and stuff and more and we're going to go over that more on this channel like what i said so subscribe um we can use avatars we don't even need a webcam at all you just create a uh avatar and you can actually get your motions through it and everything like everything could be moved or have its automatic movements when you're playing the game so just uh just let us know about that if you want to know about that green screen there are green screen essentials and there's green screen variants to where you don't manually need a green screen so where if you have a webcam you can do like zoom video or live actually has some stuff so just depending on what you want if you want a green screen or if not if you just want like a regular webcam then that's up to you and your notion just always have some form of lighting because that's always going to help you out regardless just as we talked about earlier and then all in all like what i said this is a very very easy setup this is the quest 2 wireless setup so you would cast to a pc after you cast to a pc you just need a streaming software you have the streaming software you're ready to go um 
and that's just it. Is is literally easy. You own this is most this is only a Quest Two version of it though. PC VR is way different, so you we're gonna go over that also. But this is just easily if you have a Quest Two and a PC and you want to stream very very easy all of this is free and it's fast and easy trust me you all so i appreciate y'all so much y'all have a good one and we're gonna have tons of stuff on pc vr and more tips and hints and everything man so once again y'all have a good one use these tips have that good wi-fi manually uh cord up your pc and more and um also have your setup ready have some scenes ready to go and have your streaming key so and just ensure that man so i appreciate y'all and y'all have a good one